Thanks, Nadine. You're welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this edition of the Primetime News on Equinox Television, live from my headquarters in Cameroon's economic capital, Douala. Cameroonians are expressing divergent and convergent reactions to the withdrawal of Cameroon's 2019 Africa Cup of Nations hosting ride by the Confederation of African Football. To many Cameroonians, it was a bitter pill, just too difficult to swallow some uh, urgent governments to continue with the construction works in the different uh, stadia across the country that were being made ready to welcome the encounters of the 2019 Africa Cup of Nations. And others are saying that government should punish Cameroonian authorities who are responsible for the failure of the country to organize the 2019 Afghan. À présent, la deuxième partie de ce journal en langue anglaise avec vous, Babila Jonathan. Right, Nadine, the country of President Paul Beer decries injustice from the Confederation of African Football after the withdrawal of Cameroon's 2019 Africa Cup of Nations hosting rights. Speaking to the press in the nation's political capital, Yaoundé, earlier today, the Minister of Communication and Government spokesperson, Issa Chiruma Bakari, expressed government's disappointment at the decision of the Confederation of African Football and called on all Cameroonians to stay calm. Take a listen to Issa Chiruma Bakari. And gentlemen, the government of the Republic of Cameroon has taken note with dismay of the decision taken by the CAF Executive Committee which met in Accra last November 30, 2018, to withdraw the hosting of the 2019 AFCON from Cameroon. This surprising decision, for more than one reason, is certainly unfair with regard to the huge investment made by our country which has led to outstanding modern infrastructure as witnessed by all. In the same vein, this decision is unmerited, considering the resolve of the head of state and the people of Cameroon to make all-out effort to host a remarkable celebration of African football in 2019. It is clear from the outset of this matter that our country has been subjected to a treatment which can therefore give rise to questioning. In the face of this blatant injustice, the government of the Republic urges the people of Cameroon to remain calm and not to indulge to futile arguments. Cameroon has put in a creditable performance. It shall prove it to the entire world by completing with the same determination and on time the construction of this modern infrastructure belonging to the Cameroonian people as a place by the head of state. Nevertheless, it is worth underscoring that African football would not match the exploit of other better performing continents in the absence of an ethical conduct. Our country, which has written the pages of African football in bold letters, will not relent her effort in working with other African countries and international football bodies to develop football in our beloved Africa. Express. 
and the withdrawal of Cameroon's 2019 Africa Cup of Nations hosting rights by the Confederation of African Football. The CAF has been a bitter pill, just too difficult to swallow for many uh, Cameroonians who are expressing disappointment at the decision of uh, CAF regarding President Paul Bia's uh, country and also with regards to the ongoing preparations and construction as well as rehabilitation works that are going on on different stages across the country and some have even described yesterday as a black friday and the night was quite a long one especially for inhabitants of loom in the mongo division of the littoral region of the country following the announcement by the confederation of african football they have however expressed the desire that government uh, should ensure the continuity of the ongoing construction and rehabilitation works details in this report compiled by for me i'm strong sander inhabitants of loom like those in most towns of cameroon say the night was long following the announcements of calf president ahmad ahmad <laughs> An announcement which to them sounded like a dream that Cameroon will not be hosting the 2019 Africa Cup of Nations. They regret, among other things, the loss of economic gains that would have accompanied the 2019 AFCON in Cameroon. Some outlined huge investments made by Cameroonians who had hopes to make economic gains during the 2019 football jamboree. While others believe that the Africa Cup of Nations in Cameroon would have helped Cameroonians to forget socio-political and economic challenges plaguing the country. But some on their part think that the country was not ready for the continental event. Shocked and disappointed, inhabitants of Lum in the Mongo division expressed the wish for construction projects tip for this event to continue in order to boost Cameroon's sporting infrastructural development and get it ready for future competitions. The withdrawal of the 2019 AFCON hosting ride from Cameroon is a shattered dream to the population of Lum in the Mongo division of the Lithra region. And social media users have been expressing diverse reactions after the withdrawal of the 2019 Africa Cup of Nations hosting rights from uh, Cameroon. And of course, most of them have called on the government, uh, notably the President of the Republic, to punish all government authorities who are involved or in one way or the other responsible for the failure of Cameroon to organize that continental competition once more. For me, I'm Strong Sander, reports. The diverse nature of reactions expressed by Cameroonians following CAF's decision to withdraw the total 2019 Africa Cup of Nations only demonstrates how the king's port and its management is perceived in the country today. Jean-Michel Ninchu, Social Democratic Front member of parliament for Vouri, described the withdrawal as an unprecedented thunder strike on the history of the king's port in Cameroon. He called for legal measures against those responsible for this failure, which he qualifies as a national catastrophe. Cabral Libi, on his part, qualified the event as a disappointment for Cameroon, a deception and contrition to a global football reference like Cameroon who was preparing to show the world its talent, its socio-cultural endowment and legendary hospitality. Ali Sajo says the 2019 AFCON withdrawn, whereas it would have helped us limit high debt. Hence, qualifying it as an economic fiasco, a failure. Qualifying the event as a fiasco has featured in most reactions of Cameroonians. Aggrieved and angry, most of them called for the punishment of stakeholders responsible for Cameroon's failure to host the 2019 AFCON Jamboree in the highly expected cabinet shakeup. 
other Cameroonians in their reactions preach optimism and they believe that something good is still to come for Cameroonian football. As Facebook, WhatsApp, Twitter and other social media platforms get busier on this issue, Cameroonians expect the reaction of Yaoundé, the capital city, as soon as possible. Cameroon's Minister of Public Health, Andre Mamafuda, has exhorted all Cameroonians to ensure that they know their status as far as the HIV AIDS pandemic is concerned. He was speaking today in Yaoundé within the context of activities marking the World Day for the fight against HIV AIDS and he indicated that though the infection rate is gradually dropping in Cameroon, young girls in particular as well as boys are equally uh, more affected but more so the girls who are more and more affected and government is taking uh, measures and uh, taking actions as well to ensure that the infection rate especially among young people reduce further non-governmental organizations have equally been carrying out sensitization uh, campaigns in view of further reducing the infection rate of HIV AIDS in Cameroon details in the upcoming report a football match a show of solidarity with persons living with HIV AIDS an encounter of sensitization on the disease ending activities culminating to the World Day against HIV AIDS December 1 auprès des jeunes filles nous avons accentué le message Olivia Ngo member of one of the associations involved in the fight against HIV AIDS says throughout one month young girls were encouraged to concentrate on their education because it has been proven that when a young girl is concentrating on her education her sexual behavior is put under control thus increasing her chances of staying safe from the pandemic hiv aids remains a major threat to human health in cameroon young people are the most infected the board chair of the network of associations of persons living with hiv aids charles domingo nubisi indicates that hiv aids is certainly no longer a fatality but continues threatening human lives with young people within the age range of 15 to 24 most infected and girls nine times more infected than the boys entrer sur traitement pour stabiliser sa charge virale et vivre normalement aujourd'hui on parle de protection de according to some of the anti aids crusaders like olivia ngo emphasis should be shifted from protection with condoms to abstinence in a bit to further reduce the hiv aids infection rate in cameroon and local authorities in the city of Douala have been stepping up efforts to get their respective municipalities rid of garbage. And this is coming as a response to the outcry of the population who have been decrying their poor living conditions. This is the case in the Douala 3 municipality where the mayor, Job Teofil Kwapnang, has been undertaking some actions in order to improve on the hygienic state of his municipality. Mimime for reports. The move came as a relief to residents around the garbage ship at Pong Alemang Bilonghe, Duala Free Subdivision in the littoral region of Cameroon. What would you suffer with your dirty La Femme Mundis? The waste disposal company took five months, as this mother explains, before visiting the neighborhood to get rid of the garbage heap, which has been a health and environmental nuisance to the entire population. It is cement, or arata, or 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 with the six of us, got dirty. This woman says that they have constantly been exposed to diseases as a result. The stream at Bilonga is also inundated with plastic papers and bottles. It is unknown how long the people would have to cope if the bottles are not evacuated soonest. Ayant vu cette image là, j'ai été obligé de prendre attache avec la société Isakam. The mayor of the Douala Free Subdivision, 
job fuel fuel quap nang says that his council notified the hygiene and sanitation company to dispose the waste which to him was not properly managed by the population population ki depuis de longue date un un victime de son propre incivisme parce que as the quarter head explains, the entire neighborhood has been mobilizing for cleanup campaigns. We get comité d'hygiène et salubrité, for chefferie. We don't decentralize it for, for all blocks. Movement of vehicles at Bilongue is also impeded by the fallen cables from electric poles. The population in Bilongue has called on the administration to look into these life-threatening problems before they get out of hand. That's it, ladies and gentlemen, for this edition of the news. Thanks for staying with us. Good night. Good night, Nadine. Good night, Babila Jonathan. Mesdames et Messieurs, c'est la fin de ce journal. Merci pour votre aimable attention. Passez l'agréable moment en compagnie de vos programmes.